guess who's going to be one in a few weeks? Me! to make this video because I've been wanting to make this video for such a long time and mom life and design life definitely have taken over so I am making this video to let you know my top 15 items that I think every mom should have so without further ado let's get into it my first item let's get into this chair yes my boy this was this chair was my boyfriend's idea and honestly i didn't think i saw a reason to have one because i thought it was just a waste of money no thank god for him because when i tell you if you have the room and the money i would definitely say recommend i recommend you investing in a rocking chair or a chair like this it comes with an ottoman it doesn't open the ottoman but it's so comfy and let me tell you why this is one of my top favorites because when you're getting up in the middle of night to breastfeed your baby and you're half sleep and you have to rock that baby to sleep this chair is a godsend because it literally does the rocking for you with slight movement. And I was like, oh, hi, Riley. I was like, like sleep deprived for the first, like, I want to say four, four to five months within um, having her. And getting up in the middle of the night when you finally get that sleep, you literally be like, out of it so i would literally come in here and honestly <laughs> yes yes say hi honestly this chair right here has literally is literally the reason why i'm in her room more than i'm in my room it's so comfortable it's light and like i said you see how easy it is to to, to rock back and forth in the middle of the night like so I definitely recommend this chair be on your list as your baby registry, if not a list that you, uh, um, an item that you get on your own. This chair in particular was, I think three three ninety nine. Um, I'll put it down in the show notes. That way, um, if anybody wants to go check it out, I got it from Bye Bye Baby. You can get it delivered or you can pick it up. I think we picked it up because we just needed it and wanted it like right away we didn't want to have to wait um so this is definitely number one so number two on the registry this right here it's called deluxe my breast friend and when i tell you this is a mom that breastfeeds best friend and let me tell you why I'm not really, I had I had got two of these. One was the boppy and this one. And I'm not a big fan of the boppy. And the reason why I'm not a big fan of the boppy is because that the boppy kind of slides from under you sometimes when you're like trying to pop the baby. It doesn't really stay into place. So the only thing that I really used it for was um, to like prop her on it. And she barely even liked it, which most people you do like it. So it is a good thing to have like for the baby, but this right here in the middle again in the middle of the night you're trying to breastfeed you don't have time to be put, pulling the boppy and keeping it in place you just want to hurry up feed the baby comfortably and you want to go back to sleep that boppy is a mess like to me so it has so i put it back in the plastic so that's why it's in the plastic it does not it's li literally soft Matter of fact, let me take it out of the plastic for you so you can see. It's just hard into that. So it pretty much goes like this. I got this as a um, baby shower gift. It was on my registry. Again, 
I think I got this at Bye Bye Baby. But the strap is pretty much adjustable here. And it snaps here. So you pretty much adjust it to your waist size. And it doesn't move. It does, it does not move. It just stays in the place. So you pretty much put it whichever side that you want to put it on. Whatever side you want. Your, whichever boob the baby's drinking from. Um, I think I have it upside down. Let me fix that. Okay. So, this is pretty much how it goes. And it has like a little place for your remote or your whatever you want to put here. Um, bottle, stuff, baby, pacifier, whatever. Just to put that there. The remote. So, it's so easy because literally it just stays into place. You can hold the baby comfortably, breastfeed, switch the side, put the baby on this side. This right here is literally, was my breast friend. <laughs> That's exactly what the name is. I'm going to put this down in the show notes. Hopefully it's available. Like I said, I would definitely recommend this for sure. You don't want to be in the middle of the night trying to keep the pillow in place while you're trying to figure out which boob you're going to put the baby on. Like, literally, even when she falls asleep, I would pick her up with the thing still around my waist, put her down, take it off when I'm done, and go to sleep myself. My next favorite thing is my YZ camera. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm going to put this down in the show notes as well. I got this as a baby shower gift. I put it on my registry from Amazon. And when I tell you I love this camera because it actually comes with an app. You download the app. And you go ahead and put it on your phone. And it was literally, I would literally have it on here. And this is before she got older now. Now I can't even have it on the crib. But I would have it on the crib. And it actually rotates. The camera lens goes up and down. You can see any parts of the room. It actually detects movement. And this right here saved me. Because you know when the baby's not next to you. Because in the first couple of months that she was here, obviously she slept in a room with me. But... It saved me a lot of time of getting up every two seconds to check on her because you know you know when you finally put them in their room you're like nervous so I would literally open up the app and look actually I would have the app and my phone um, open on my nightstand my phone plugged in so it doesn't die obviously at the, in the middle of the night and I would literally like if I hear her whine I could just look zoom in see everything I need to see so this is definitely one of my favorite things. Uh, I even still use it to this day. Sometimes she'll make a noise or she'll whine or cry. I'll check the camera and I'll just notice that she's probably just moving in her sleep. Just making noise in her sleep but she's fine. So I literally don't have to get up every two seconds to come in here and check on her to see how, um, if she's okay, you know. So that is definitely a must have and I'll put it in the show notes. All right, my next two top items that I had on my baby registry. Actually, this one is a baby sound machine, and I did not have this on my registry. Somebody happened to give it to me, and this right here is perfect. She doesn't use it now because for the sound. It kind of wakes her up, but this right here blocked out, blocks out a lot of the sound. Like, I have it on the ocean, the rain, um, and I have, like, Rockabye Baby heartbeat you can have on any kind of sound that you want so usually sometimes when fire trucks or the um ambulance cars noisy cars ice cream truck used to come by it would literally like like jump her out of her sleep but because the sound was on already in her room excuse the, the musical toys that she's playing with but because the sound was already in her room it wasn't such like startling for her to be woken up so this right here is great and on top of the fact that it makes sounds on the top of the fact that it makes sounds it also has a projector at the top so it kind of like projects like little shapes and pictures on the ceiling which is great so she's not in the pitch dark and pitch black and wake up like scared because right like I said now this is what I um this is what I use for her not night light I don't use the sound too, too much, but this is a must. I'm glad whoever thought about me to buy me a gift thought to put this on the register. I mean, thought to buy me this as a gift because I definitely wouldn't have thought about it. My second thing is the VTech um, baby monitor. So aside from the camera, I do have a baby monitor because sometimes the baby monitor is a lot louder than 
my phone so i had my phone on just for the camera and the camera i think was really cheap it was like 30 30 dollars and this um was on my registry i got it i think it was like 20 something dollars so this i actually can just bring anywhere so if i'm around the house and i'm not in the place where i need the, the camera to be up um where i can see her i can hear her and i come in so i still use this um along with the camera so another thing that is a must so my next item that i cannot live without is my bottle warmer this right here was a godsend because the old-fashioned way of putting the bottle in the pot, warming it up. I'm sure people don't do that now, but I will learn how much this right here helps me out. Going to other people's houses and at the time of when she was first born and not having the bottle warm up and the bottle taking so long to warm up. This right here is definitely a must. So you don't have to put the baby bottles in the, in the microwave or you don't have to put them inside, uh, which is dangerous, of course, putting baby bottles in the microwave. But putting them in hot water and waiting for them. This right here is great. I actually have the Doc, Dr. Brown bottles. And this is actually an event water, um, baby, um, I'm sorry, bottle warmer. At first, I was going to get the event bottles. So this was on my registry and before I could switch it, somebody actually bought it already. So when I got my Dr. Brown bottles, I realized that they both fit. So I didn't even have to return this and it fits just fine. So I stuck with it. And like I said, another must have. It saves time when the baby's hungry. You can put breast milk in here as well. It has different, um, different um, dials here on the side. You just twist it. You can defrost. You can defrost the um, breast milk if you have it, or you can just put it on like a nice pool so it can like take its time and throw out. Or if you're in a rush, put it all the way up and that joint will warm up extra quick. So this is a must. Okay, so my favorite things that I've gotten that I put on my list that I think is the smartest thing to do is to get items that you can transform them as your baby grows because i feel personally why do you want to go out and buy the same thing that you already have and you're pretty much wasting money or spending extra money so i put a couple things on my list that was like three and one two and one four and one and these are the items that i say that it's a must so this fisher price three and one toddler bathtub it's missing a couple of pieces it came with like a mesh piece that you put it across and that was actually um for when she was a like an infant it cradled her nicely then you take it off and then you kind of like um have her sit here when she gets a little bigger and then after she gets really big you actually remove the actual pink seat here and then she just lays in there so this this bit, this bathtub actually transitioned and I really like it. It actually comes with a couple of bath toys with it, like a little sprinkling thing and a little toy for her to play with. So this was great. I got this as a baby shower um, gift as well. Shout out to Shakira. Yes. So also I got this, I think this is five, five and one high chair, which obviously now I use it a lot more because she's turning one. So now she's eating foods and i want to teach her how to sit down and this is what you have to do and things like that so um i love this thing because um obviously you feed the baby and then when you give them the bottle instead of taking them out you can actually just recline it and it actually lays back so this is actually one of my favorite items um ugh, you can set it up and then you can also bring it down as low as you want to so if I was sitting here and feeding her and I needed her to be closer then there you can do that you can also bring it down lower and push it up to the chair I mean the table like as she grows you can take off the chair you can take off the um the tray and then push her up to whatever table that she'll be eating at then you can also take this part off of the stand here and attach it to the seat as a booster seat so we will have this for a while a while because it transforms into so many things that's what i say about saving money because 
I wouldn't use it as a high chair. If it was only a high chair, then I would have to give it away or throw it away or store it away and then go out and buy a booster seat to go at the chair. So I definitely recommend putting um, um, items that you can use in multiple different ways. So my next item, sorry, just everything is in the way. Let me move it out of the way a little bit because I'm about to bring over my next item. So I put this on my list. Again, it is a two-in-one. Um, it comes with a handle across for when she's an infant and it has like little toys hanging now. Um, I'm going to put this down in the show notes too if I can find it still. But this is great. Why? Because Riley was a nosy baby and she didn't want to sit back at all. So she didn't like this the whole time um, she was an infant. And thank God I held on to it um, and didn't give it away. Because I have a couple friends that had babies so I give stuff away to them. Thank God I didn't give it away because it also turned into a um, toddler seat. Like she could sit down. And now she'll sit in it and she'll eat her cookies and she'll sit in it and she'll drink her bottle, whatever the case is, because this back part flips up into an actual chair. So if it's not flipped up, it actually rocks back and forth. But flipping it up actually makes it a kickstand and it doesn't move. So it's easier for her to get in and get out. So again, a must have uh, because again, you don't have to toss it away. She can still have it for when she grows. So my one of my definite um things is to find things that you could do multiple things with two in one she loves paper two in one things or three in one five in one things because overall that's going to save you a lot of money and um a lot of time because we're in a day right now where we need to save money because why are we wasting money on things when we can just buy something that can literally be transitioned from one thing to another so those are my must-haves as far as um, um, three, four, five, and one thing items go. Okay, so another item that has to do with bath that I love is this little hair umbrella thing. I found it on Amazon, and I love it because when I would wash her hair, the water would get all over her face and on her nose, and she would cry and. I would barely ha have time to wash her hair before she panics. So this right here is perfect. Like it literally like blocks the water from dripping down her face. So she can enjoy playing her toys. And I can like literally finish um, washing her hair. So it looks like this one's on the baby. And it snaps here. And it has like four levels in which you can put it to fit the baby's head. And I used it um when she was really small so it fits the smallest head sorry this little girl loves to go behind this chair come here stick booty what are you doing what are you doing next thing is one of my favorite things and a must have for on the go moms um my best friend put me onto this and it's like for for you to put your um powdered formula in and um cereal in so when you're on the go and you need to make her bottle you'll have like i'll have like filtered water and like one of those little canister things that keeps the water warm or cold and i'll have the baby food and the baby um rice cereal um measured out in each container so each hole would be like the measured amount of like three bottles so i'm gonna get a little closer to see what i'm talking about so as you can see it has one two three compartments and it twists Whichever hole you're twisting on, you just pop it open and you put the water in a bottle, obviously, and then put the powder in and shake it up and uh, an instant bottle. So this right here is definitely a must for a mom on the go. So I think they sell this at Target and a couple other stores and you could probably even find it on Amazon. But my best friend actually got this for me as a gift. Shout out to you. So I definitely... Um, recommend this for when you're on a go even when you like go to the doctor or you go into like your mom's house or whatever case is you have three bottles already made before it's time for you to actually go home so you don't have to actually bring the whole canned milk or the bottle of formula or anything like that you already have it measured you already have it so it's like no mess 
You don't have to bring your scoop. You don't have to do none of that. It's already set before you even leave the house. So definitely a must to throw in a diaper bag. But I don't know why I didn't put this as my number one baby item. But this right here is my number one baby item. Forget about the first one I said. This is number one. And why it's number one? Because this is the Duna. The Duna Baby Stroller. I'm sure you guys heard about it. It is a car seat. And it is a stroller in one. So you don't have to worry about those big bulky strollers that you have. The car seat. And then you got to take the car seat out the car. You got to take the stroller out the car. You got to connect it to it. And then that whole process. It's just a one two three when it comes to this stroller and when i tell you this is my absolute favorite 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 thing that i've gotten i'm going to show you a little bit how it works even though i'm sure you guys already know it so let me fix the camera she loves this stroller too guys let's show the people how it works baby girl let's show the people how it works so obviously you have the handle this handle is perfect because you can move it and yes it looks a little short but you can pop it up so this is how you would use it when it's in motion and you got the little little visor and yeah you want to move you want to go it's a little low my boyfriend's taller than I am and it actually works for him he's like six two and it works for him so even though it's shorter and even though it's lower Honestly, this is one of my, my my favorite gifts by far and one of the best things I've ever put on my registry. So, if it's time for you to get in the car seat or time for you to, you know, go up the stairs or do anything that you need to do, you just go ahead and pop that arm down, bring that arm up like so. You're going to go ahead and break it. And then there's a little lever back here. So, you're just going to hit the lever go down and then there you go man there you go now you can just put the baby in the stroke in the car seat in, in, in the car take the baby out the car bring the baby up the stairs and then once you get up the stairs excuse me miss you okay i saw we you okay all right so once you get the baby up the stairs right riley right once you get the baby up the stairs, once you get the baby out the car, what you gonna do? You gonna go, excuse me, excuse me. All right, you wanna get inside? Okay. She wants to get inside, guys. Let's turn around and show the people how it works when you're inside, okay? All right. So once you got the baby inside, I wouldn't recommend you pulling it up while she's not strapped in, but she's not gonna move. And there you go, back to a stroller. Back to a stroller. So I know I said, Come on. So I know I said it's best to not waste money and it's best to buy something that you can use multiple different ways. Yes, I said that. But this stroller right here, honestly, in my opinion, is my exception to that rule. Why? Because I don't wake my sleeping baby and I'm not struggling to get in and out cabs, cars, buses, trains, or whatever I got to do inside stores. I'm not bumping into anything. Like, it's literally quick, fast. And on the go so this right here is my exception to the rules it is about 3.99 i got lucky because my co-workers actually went ahead and put money together and i that's how i got the stroller so i'm definitely blessed but i also have to buy another stroller but i'm also saving money because i did not buy this one and this one will be staying with me for my next baby when it's time and i'm ready to have another one i will be using it for that baby because this stroller is amazing and also i forgot to tell you something it does not come with a under under um basket which is the downfall of the stroller honestly but you have to buy this bag separately which i'm okay with like it's a cute bag you can fit everything you need in this bag you don't have to have a bulky bag it's really sleek and um compact and it hooks on to the stroller handles by those little holes there. So I can show you actually how it looks when it goes on the stroller. 
Gonna take the holes. First, let's bring this. Show that out. You're gonna take the holes. And you're just gonna clip it and clip it. Easy. There you go. You got your baby bag. It's small, it's compact, and then you got your stroller that's one, two, three, fold, fold down, fold up, and be on the go. So this right here is literally my number one baby item. And it's definitely one of my favorites. And as you can see, I don't think I did a Riley's room tour, but this is also one of my favorite things that I purchased for her. It's a black fairy with an afro. <laughs> So, this is another favorite. I know I look a little crazy right now, but let me tell you about this. Let's get into this wrap. This wrap is my favorite because my daughter did not let me do anything at all. She would literally cry. She would literally want me to hold her all the time. Not all babies are the same, but when I had to get things done, I had to figure it out. I even have a video, I think, on here um, when I'm renovating my whole workspace and I needed to get it done and she did not want me to do it. Sorry, had to stop the video really quick because Riley's getting into things that she should not be getting into because she sees I'm doing something, so she's trying to get into everything. But anyway, so like I said, she did not let me do anything. I couldn't put her down. I had to get my workspace set. So I literally bought this wrap, and it's the best thing. Um, Obviously, it's already wrapped up, so if you want to know how to do it, just Google the name, and it's called Bad boobay boobay b-o-b-a i'll put the link in below so it's so comfortable it's so soft it's really not that hard to wrap as you can see it's a flat piece here and then it's crisscross here all you do is put the baby in between here and then pull it over them their butt here and this way Pull it over their butt like so and when i tell you she will fall asleep in this thing and literally just be out and it's hugging her so tight so i literally had the free will to like cook chop up whatever i need to chop up clean move around and i didn't have to hold her because she was just snuck to me and it was just holding her close holding her close to my heart so she literally would just knock out so this right here is definitely a must-have and like I said, you can Google the name before you buy it and check out how you wrap it. It's really not that hard. Um, if you find the right video, the right video will show you exactly how to wrap it. Another thing, one of my, another one of my favorite things that I that I that I bought um, or people have bought um, bought me is um, loves pampers and that commercial is legit on point when they say first time moms choose other pamper brands second time moms choose loves because when i tell you that loves pampers will literally keep your baby throughout the night because she will wake up a lot throughout the night and i would look at the camera and she's like tossing and turning and moving her like little booty and i know this is because the pant she she goes to the bathroom her sleep and the wetness irritates her and she wakes up. So I changed to loves at nighttime. Now all the time now, but at nighttime I'll put loves on her and I noticed that she would sleep a lot more throughout the night because it's not irritating her. It soaks up the moisture much better. And honestly, I think the quality of the loves pampers are way better than the other pampers. She's in a size three right now, but love for real i love these pampers and they're a lot cheaper cheaper than the pampers brand and i'm not even gonna front i was bougie at first and i was like oh i need me some pampers brand because pampers brand is where it's at i love the smell but these smell really good too and they do the job and honestly i think that pampers brand is just kind of like like the the pop popular for no reason like it's like the, the thing you go to when you go to the store buy somebody a baby shower gift and you see pampers oh let me wear the pampers brand but Real moms know loves are the best pampers. Over Huggies and over Pampers brand for sure. So, I hope that I was able to give you first time moms, second time moms, um, 
some good insight of some things to get for your brand new baby, newborn baby, infant, toddler, whatever. These items are a must in my opinion. So good luck moms. It's hard but it's so worth it. Like I said, my daughter is going to be one at the end of this month. So this is the reason for this video that I've been meaning to shoot for the longest. And I'm glad I finally had a chance to actually um, shoot it. Um, because I actually have a little more experience with all those, all those products and how long I use them. And some of them I still use. So I'm glad I was able to tell you guys that. And let me let you see bye to Riley. Say bye, Riley. Say see you later. Say the next video coming is going to be my birthday outfit. So we are working on Riley's birthday outfit. And that would be one of the videos that we're going to upload. So you can see her at her birthday party and her outfit made by her mom, me. All right? Thanks, guys, for watching. And stay safe out there. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.